All right, hello. In this video, I'm going to be going over Seek, which is a Max for Live audio effect device that can produce chaotic modulation, uh, texturization, and in a separate mode, it can also be used as a CV generator and sequencer. So in this video, I'm planning to go over the controls and just kind of demo some use cases, uh, some fun things I've noticed as I've developed it. Uh, so you can see that in this case, it is placed after an instrument. That's kind of the default use case would be as just uh, accepting the stereo input from whatever instrument it's on. Um, and it can also, if you're using Live 10 Plus, it can accept audio input from you know, anywhere in Live. Um, so basically what happens is it takes the stereo audio input and it maps it onto an X, Y coordinate somewhere in the window of the, you know, in this kind of sub portion of the fractal that you're viewing. And you can explore the fractal using these buttons, using this slider. Uh, and essentially the X, Y position is calculated for every sample and multiplied, it multiplies the input signal. So this device is basically like an amplitude modulation uh, type effect. Uh, but because the fractal is so, um, you know, infinitely detailed, um, you can produce all sorts of really interesting amplitude modulations. Um, and of course, the input signal that you're sending in is a huge component of what you're hearing, but there's also data coming from the fractal. And it really can just kind of sound quite, quite cool. There's all sorts of fun tonal and textural things to explore. Um, so that's the idea behind the audio effect. And... Um, I think before going on, I'll also just kind of mention another mode. Um, so I'm going to turn the gain down just so that it doesn't mess with um, like the recording. But you can also, instead of using the audio as the uh, what controls the X, Y position, you can use uh, these manual sliders. And you can see that the blinking pixel here, um, that corresponds to wherever these sliders are uh, when manual mode is engaged. And when you do that, you would want to also turn DC mode on. And uh, I'm gonna turn it up. It, I hope it doesn't mess with the recording, but you'll see what I mean. So basically, you know, I mean, this is just a simple example, but just uh, to demonstrate that you can use this as a sort of CV generator in this manual mode, where when you explore the fractal, uh, rather than the audio input selecting the uh, modulation amount, you can just kind of straight up send the value of the fractal out. Um, and so in this case, it could either be mapped directly onto a parameter somewhere else in live, or if you wanted to, you could put this device like on its own track uh, with no instrument in front of it and just kind of send the signal, the CV out, you know, to your modular or wherever. Um, so... Uh, it's it's a really fun and interesting device. Um, it's it's something that's fun to explore even on its own, but I do think it kind of shines um, like the most when it's kind of interfacing with other instruments and kind of helping you explore all sorts of possibilities that are um, just kind of you know really unexpected and um, detailed. So and uh, for the rest of the video, I wanted to just go through the uh, controls and kind of demo how it works, uh, show some use cases. And um, yeah, hopefully that that's all good. Okay, so starting with the left side of the panel, um, maybe first I'll actually zoom back out so you can see kind of like more of the fractal. So here we are. You can see it's kind of the Mandelbrot set by default. Um, and okay, so starting with ZX and ZY, these control the middle point in what you're looking at. So you can see you can move from negative two up to two and that'll change the midpoint. Um, obviously like with fractals, you know, you know, Y controls the up down with fractals, kind of the most interesting portion is the boundary. Uh, and that's particularly where like the modulations are going to be most interesting. So I would just kind of, maybe it's obvious or silly to mention, but a lot of this is about looking into the boundaries of the fractal <laughs> rather than the static, uh, values, you know, on the edge or right in the middle. Um, okay. So that's. ZX and ZY controls the middle point, and then CX and, and CY control uh, kind of like the type of fractal. Um, it changes the, the math, um, but you can see that as you move through the values, they kind of, there's like a continuous flow to the data. And you know as you zoom in, you'll see even on these like, smaller scales, 
you can really get a lot of interesting uh, related transformations with like just a little change. So those are really fun. And those control the fractal computation as well as iters, which controls basically the number of iterations in the, cal in the calculation. You can see as that goes down, um, you know, just the data changes. Uh, so there's all sorts of interesting modulation possibilities from that as well. Um, and just looks really cool. <laughs> uh, and lastly, size, which controls the basically the, the range in the, of the window that you're looking at in the fractal. So you can basically make a larger window and that can change again, like the way that the audio sounds. Uh, there's more space for it to traverse and more kind of uh, little nooks and crannies for it to fall into. Okay, so that's kind of the left side of the panel. Um, I already mentioned manual mode. Um, so I'll, yeah, just skip that for now. Uh, the left side, as I've been using it, um, you can see it's it's kind of how you get around the fractal. And say I move in out way down, then as I click plus, I'm zooming in, but just a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's kind of like a lot of fun transformations you can do with that as well, in and out. <laughs> Um, and left and right, so move percent controls the amount that you move. And yeah, that's the that's the panel for moving. You can also just use this zoom slider for more of a continuous movement up, or I guess it would be in and out. Um, and let's see, what else is left? So as I mentioned, DC mode, uh, when you turn manual mode on and you turn DC mode, on, you'd you'd probably want to do both because the idea is um, without this DC mode on there is a low pass filter that's like preventing any sort of static values from getting through um, so in order for it to send CV and for you to sort of you know want to explore the CV I'm going to turn the gain up because it was just all the way off um, so I didn't mess with the recording you can see that it's doing all sorts of crazy stuff especially on the boundary right so anyway, that's, that's how that works. Um, and low and high control, just uh, like when you're in DC mode, you can basically scale the input. And of course it's off again, so it's not doing anything, but you can scale. Um, rise and fall, similarly, um, in CV mode, you know, because we're going over this fractal and it's really detailed and there's really like these boundaries can be really harsh sometimes, like go from pretty large values down to nothing. Rise and fall essentially uh, change how quickly the signal can go up or down and that can really um, like change the CV output. Um, it's also active in the audio effect, so it can change like, it basically can act almost as like a filter on the audio input. Um, so these are really great for exploring tone. Um, and then basically the same with wet and gain. These are just, um, the, you know, they change the amount of effect. So there's just dry wet here, and then this is a wet gain. Um, and yeah, there, there's a lot. I'm, I've been kind of shocked by how much just tonally in, in like synthesizers and drums you can really get out of um, this device. It's really fun. Um, I'll, I'll probably do some at the end, but... I want to just get through everything before I um, start to mess around with audio in case I <laughs> mess up or it doesn't sound good or something. I'm, uh, all right, so yeah, I guess the last would just be the uh, output here. That's pretty standard, just main out. Um, and lastly would be uh, you can take the output signal and map it onto you know parameters elsewhere in live. And these kind of work similarly to um, you know any other Max for live device where you can map it, scale it, reverse it, whatever you want to do, and then when you're done, unmap it and it should be good. Um, I think that's the whole device. And yeah, at this point, I think I'll try to just uh, mess around with like a synth for a little bit. Um, and maybe I'll throw a drum or something on it too, just to see how it sounds. And maybe I'll talk over it a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've, it's been really fun to develop this, and if anyone has any questions or you know issues, uh, definitely let me know. I hope you enjoy messing around with it. It's been really fun to develop, and I think it's a really interesting tool. All right. So, let's play. Just to, um, here's dry. So 
is like a sample from a harmonica. So now it's only moving, the audio is only moving on the X axis. You can see that I can control the Y position. So that's one kind of way to improvise. Okay, so that was like, you know, just really just kind of messing around, improvising on this uh, sim this synthesizer here, but um, and haven't even touched the rise and fall yet. Um, I'll um, I'll I'll add in a drum and just maybe mess with rise and fall a little bit, and then I think I'll call it a video at that point. Um, I'm gonna pick this 808 one just because it's kind of simple and um, there's no additional effects or anything. So you can see it's just this straight up 808 from. Uh, from live like defaults or whatever and um, going directly into seek and here we go so here's uh, dry you can hear the click from my uh, keyboard but whatever turn up wet And uh, yeah, again, I'm you know found this spot in the fractal just completely by accident. There's a million spots like this. Um, it's just fun to explore, and um, I find I find that just the way you can texturize input automatically is uh, just extremely satisfying. You get all sorts of crazy blown out stuff. Um, but now, just to kind of demo that you can also refine it a bit, um, I'm going to change the rise and fall and just kind of yeah do some tone stuff. So here we go. So again, dry, wet,
Nice. So that's dry again. Now let's turn off the manual Y. <laughs> nice. Alright, um, well, yeah, I mean, I hope this was helpful, and um, thanks for watching, and cheers. Bye!